I want to give you a review on a Live Good affiliate in 2024. Amazing business. It, it truly is. But you know that old uh, Forrest Gump saying, life is a box of chocolates? Well, business is a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get until you start it. You know, I've heard this saying before that, you know, you know, don't quit. Well, sometimes I like my look good hat. <laughs> I'm not a big hat wearer, but today it's kind of cool. Anyway, uh, sometimes you join a business, you never know what you're going to get. And, and they say, don't quit, just stay there. Well, I say the same thing. Don't quit. Just move, get a different business, stay in the network marketing business, affiliate marketing business, learn. Because I've been in a couple of businesses and, and uh, one was not an online business. It, it was a go to home business. First one I was ever in a great business, loved it, but I was gone all the time. And to tell you the truth, I just got, I, I got lambasted by the people who were in it when I was called me a quitter. It was an office of jocks. They called me a quitter and I did this and I did that. And one, my daughter got sick. I, I went home because I want to be by my family. I was gone all the time. And I kind of stayed away from businesses, but then I joined one from a friend. I reached out on a phone call and, and it was a great business. It, it, it truly was. And then I started seeing things I really didn't like. Uh, you know, they started bringing in leaders that out of nowhere, they were top gun, you know, and they bring their team in and, you know, they never did that to me, but they also let go of some top leaders because those leaders were looking at a different business. So I have a home business. I had a retail store. You mean if I had to, if I bought into a different business that I'd have had to shut down my retail store, that sucks. I mean, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard, but that's how businesses are because what they're, the owners and the CEOs of a lot of these businesses are just greedy and the top leaders. So to tell you the truth, I've been, uh, if you heard my story, if you have, and I, I'm a cancer survivor, colon cancer survivor, came out of nowhere. I, my wife and I like to ride bikes and thank goodness we did. We were on, uh, we'd go on a bike trail and go have lunch for one day. I was riding and I just felt uncomfortable. Like what the heck? And I thought I had hemorrhoids, never had hemorrhoids. I like that hat. Never had hemorrhoids before. Well, lo and behold, I had a tumor right in, they call it a sphincter muscle, but the muscle where you, you squeeze a fart in <laughs> or squeeze one out, one of the two. And I ended up with a permanent colostomy, which was, it really sucked. But guess what? I'm alive. It's, um, so anyway, after that and that taking chemo, I just thought, you know, I am going to figure this out and I'm going to get healthier. And I, we were healthy. We ate pretty well, but you know, we didn't totally understand everything. We didn't understand the supplements. We didn't understand preservatives and the food. And I guess, you know, what I did, I set out in a mission. I was going to find a business where I can help people. And I, th I think that's where this life is a, a bunch, like a box of chocolates or building a business is like a box of chocolates. One, you got to find a business. Sometimes you have to test them out. But if you go into it trying to make a lot of money, I, I totally believe that's the wrong way to go. If you go into it with this, trying to help people <clears throat> as a service, understanding that you're going to be here and you're going to build a business and love on people and help people and build relationships and understand who their family is. And just get to know people. Then you're in business and your business is going to be successful. When you're building a business, right? People might not tell you this, but in the olden days, olden, I am old, <laughs> young, I'm in my third quarter. Anyway, when it first started out, they told you to write down, get on a list of paper, and write down a hundred people that you know. I know a lot of people. It it and then the reach out to them. Well, it's the same thing. You got to talk to people, right? And some people don't like to do that. Well, the internet makes it easy because you have Facebook Messenger. You know, and I I, I think it's Bob Berger wrote the book, Go for No Twenty No's a Day or something like that. I know Ray Higdon did it. It's how he built his empire. Is you just got to get a thick skin. I send DMs, and I, I'm. I'm polite. I ask if I can send them something. I'm not trying to be a jerk like some people are. I just say, hey, have you heard about what's going on over at Live Good? And they either respond to me or not. I don't take it one way or the other. People are getting so land blasted out there with, with everything in the world right now. I don't I don't take anything personal. I just, hey, I'm building a business. I'm going to reach out. I What I have is good. 
If they don't want it, it's their fault. <coughs> I don't want to say fault, but it's their challenge. If you want to get in and save money, right? Live good's a place to be. If you want to stay healthy, live good's a place to be. If you want to make money, live good's a place to be. If none of that makes sense to you, then it's not for you. That's all. So anyway, short and sweet. I wanted to talk longer, but uh, I'm at the marina. I saw my wife go walking. If you see that hill, hill up there, that's what we call our point. Uh, she was walking our dog, and it, it's cold out today. It's like 48 degrees. There it is. You can see the the marina way out there. Isn't that cool? And then you can see the, that's the docks. I don't know. I couldn't see that, so I, my, I could see it, but I didn't know if you could see the docks. Uh, this it goes in line with that. This dock has been here, I don't know how long, but the people who run it are, I think it probably run it for 30 years. Uh, unbelievable people, uh, unbelievable, and, and they they get it. They're in the they're in the business, uh, people business. So life is like a box of chocolates, right? They get good tenants, they get bad tenants. But people on the lake are usually pretty good. However, there are some people who like to party, <laughs> and I used to, but I don't do that much anymore. You know, life's too short, so I want to wake up every day ready to spend a full day. And there were many mornings I woke up ready to, oh, go to bed. Um, but I don't do that anymore. I, I really don't. I enjoy my life and my wife and I like to travel. You can see, tell this is our travel van. And we like to help people. That is why I'm in Live Good. And Nancy is too. Nancy has her own Live Good business. She does extremely well with it. It's uh, We are going to be, uh, we have one of the most amazing teams ever. We're growing. Our team itself right now is in, um, let's see, Ireland, Africa, Philippines, Canada, four different, five different countries, and we're going to expand. So if you're looking to be on the best team with the best people, okay, go watch this video, join mark.biz, and we will see you on the inside. And I'm, I'm going to tell you this with all honesty, if you don't if you, when you get involved in Live Good, you're going to thank me later. Very serious. So when you get involved, you're going to thank me later. So go watch this video. Join Mark.biz.